Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Wherever you are in the world, wherever you are on YouTube, hello, my name is Colin Reynolds, also known as Kung Fu Colin. How's it going? Now, uh, this has been coming for, for a long time. Um, I've been receiving requests to do a commentary style or a, or a video log, vlog style video. Without further ado, let me just have a look at this bit of paper that I've scrolled a few of the things I need to talk about. Firstly, what have, I, what have I been doing recently? Well, earlier on in the year, I used to work for an insurance company in claims administration. And I worked there for a couple of years. It was a very challenging job. It didn't pay very well, in my opinion, but that's neither here nor there. The important thing is, it was, it was driving me mad, absolutely up the wall. So what did I do? I walked out. Uh, there was no animosity between myself and my employer. I went and had a talk to to my supervisor, I spoke to my manager, uh, I spoke to my colleagues. It was infuriating. It was soul destroying for me. I, I just couldn't do it anymore. So I left, took my bat and ball and went home, uh, came out to live with my brother and decided to take a long service leave, if you will, to reevaluate my life, the direction it's going in and make a decision on what it was that I intended to do. I've made a few decisions regarding that. First of all, I decided to apply to university. Uh, much to my amazement and uh, relief, I was accepted into university and will commence study on a Bachelor of Arts course next year. Uh, where eventually it's going, I don't know, but I do know that for me to work in the kind of job that I really want to do, I do need a degree to do that, so that's what I'm undertaking. Okay. Recently, what have I been doing? I've actually been playing a few computer games. Uh, Guitar Hero 3 springs to mind. That's a fantastic game. Uh, for somebody like me, who is an avid gamer, and also, of course, as many of you will know, a guitar enthusiast, uh, a video game where I play guitar at the same time is pretty much, it, it's set up perfectly you know, for what I like. Now, um, I've finished it now. I've, I've, I've completed I've completed the expert campaign. Um, I've got five stars on nearly every expert song. Um, I've hundred percented a lot of them. I, I'm very happy with my progress in Guitar Hero. You know, I don't want to rabbit on too much about that. Guitar Hero 3, excellent game. For you guys, if you're playing it and if you're stuck on the last battle, uh, or even raining blood, my heart goes out to you. I know how hard it is. Persevere and you will succeed. Uh, by the way, my gamer tag is unsurprisingly Kung Fu Colin. Any of you Xbox Live players, feel free to add me. What else have I been doing? I've been reading uh, a book that I read recently. In fact, I read it a few years ago. It was a great book then. It was a, it was great now. Uh, I'm reading it in anticipation of the sequel that's just been released. My brother's just read through it. The author is a, a bloke named Ken Follett, and uh, the book that I read is uh, this is it. It's called The Pillars of the Earth. Now, it's set in, uh, in medieval times in England. You read the book from five or six different people's perspectives. And the book stretches over a period of, of about 50 years or so. It's a modern epic. What else have I read? I've read a few David Gebel books uh, just recently. I read uh, Waylander, Waylander 2, um, the, and this one, The Hero in the Shadows. They have a Gimble book. Uh, once again, this is about Waylander. Waylander is an assassin, uh, a reluctant assassin. Uh, he doesn't like to admit he does like killing people, and he's better at doing it than pretty much anyone else. That's a, it's a great book if you like if you like fantasy books at all. It's a great read. The music you're hearing now is uh, something that I've written recently. I haven't actually put it on any albums as of yet. Some of you will know already, but for those who don't. I've released two albums, the first one, Age of Obscurity, the second one, uh, Stands to Reason. I'll put the description, where is it, it's up here, I'll put it in the description box, the links to the site is the, the link just here. Please go and download it for free, tell me what you think, don't tell me what you think, if you like it, you don't like it, you don't care, whatever, but it's there for you to go and check out. Okay. Now, just thought I'd like to talk about a couple of things on YouTube just recently that have been niggling me just a little bit. The first thing is uh, bulletins. Now, um, as I'm sure you're all aware, on everybody's page, everyone who's a registered user, 
they have a series of bulletins down the side of their page. I think there's, there's five, five bulletins showed at any one time. Anybody who's on your friends list, anybody that you're subscribed to, whenever they post a bulletin, you'll receive that bulletin. That's great. It's a, it's a really good way of getting out a message very quickly to a, to a large audience. But the thing that niggles me, some people I, I feel have been abusing this, and what I'm starting to see is people posting uh, three, four bulletins in a row in quick succession, sometimes the exact same thing, uh, just post, 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 and what, because they, they feel the need that, I don't know, they feel that they're not going to get noticed otherwise, I'm not sure the driving force behind that, but the result is the people who are using this, the service or the feature responsibly, those People are getting pushed down to the bottom of the list and pushed off the, the bulletin page because of these other people that are spamming their bulletins. Now, if someone posts a bulletin, they forget to link a video, and then they post another bulletin, same thing but with the video link, look, I understand that. You make a mistake, you want to correct a mistake, that's no problem. I have no problem with that. Sometimes people will they'll post the same bulletin four or five times in a row, but they might post it one morning, then they might post it that evening, then the next morning, then the next evening. You see, look, I'm okay with that as well. Because they're trying to reach people across uh, different time zones, which can be hard to do. You've got different people that watch your videos in all parts of the world. Uh, you know, I've got no problem with people doing that. What gets me is when people just, just spam those bulletins out. And that, that, that really does annoy me. Something else that niggles me. Subscription requests. Uh, I get flooded with these things. <laughs> I mean, I, I just keep getting these emails saying, such and such has requested that you subscribe. This person invites you sub to subscribe. This person invites you to subscribe. Now, it was my understanding that by putting videos, even putting a single video on YouTube that's a public video, I'm not talking about people that only post private videos, because I'm sure some of those people exist, but anybody that posts a public video on YouTube, which comprises most of the people using YouTube, they're already inviting you to subscribe by putting content on YouTube. Now, when I do subscribe to somebody, uh, the reason I do it is because I, I like the videos, or I like the person, or I, for some reason or another, I want to see more content from that person. And I determine which content I like to see or, or don't like to see. You know, I'm quite capable of sorting through YouTube's uh, clutter to find the stuff that I like to see. And when I do see the stuff I like to see, I'll subscribe. I don't need to be asked. I understand that you, 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 know, you might not be getting all of the attention that you feel you deserve. Um, so, you know, put a bulletin out. Don't spam them. Send messages to people. Comment on their profiles and say, hey, how are you doing? Uh, here's something, why don't you go and check it out? There's no problem with that. Network, speak to friends, watch other people's videos, comment on their videos, ask them to go and have a look at your videos. I mean, but this whole idea of just sending out these massive, oh please subscribe to me, please subscribe to me, this automated thing, uh, that just really turns me off. And quite often, there's somebody's material, I, I probably might subscribe to them, but if they ask me to subscribe, it's like, I feel, I, I feel like I just don't want to anymore. I feel like that they don't deserve it, the fact that they need to ask for it. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. That's, that's how I feel about the issue. If you've got some great content, you want people to see it, you want me to see it, send me a message, tell me about it, and I will go and see it, all right? You know? Don't ask me to subscribe. If I like your stuff, uh, I'll subscribe already. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you watch this video all the way through to the end, it is very gracious. Thank you very much and speak to you some other time.